What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carrasco Ranch. My name is Robert, if this is your first time tuning in. So what we're gonna be, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be going around and checking the depth of different cracks that have occurred on my property um, due to the drought. I've already messed around with a couple and you're gonna be quite surprised with how deep some of these cracks are. Um, again, this is one of the driest years I've personally ever seen in my lifetime. Um, also, I've, I've asked older people, you know, people twice as old as me, you know, is this a pretty dry year for you? Have you ever seen this like this before? Um, they said no, um, you know, probably not in the in, in 30 years. This is probably one of the driest years in about 30 years um, that they've ever seen. Um, some have said a little longer than that, 40 years. Now, I'm no stranger to seeing cracks in the ground. I am from Texas. I live in Texas. This isn't unusual, but the, uh, the, uh, the depth and the gaps of the cracks is not anything I've ever seen before and I've always been fascinated by this when I was a little kid I would always go and look at all these dry cracks from the from the lack of rain but this is definitely one of the the driest years I've personally ever seen and some of the deepest cracks I've ever seen as long as some of the widest gaps I've ever seen you know some of these cracks are big enough to twist an ankle if you get your foot in there um, so we're gonna go around and measure a couple of them I'm gonna video them and just show you what it looks like um, here in Texas so just for reference, we haven't had any significant rain since about October, November um, of last year, 2021. We're in 2022. It's currently August 2022. So we're approaching a year uh, without any kind of significant rain. Um, behind me is a stock tank. So this stock tank is fed by a water well. That's the only reason it keeps water in there. And you're going you're gonna to see that the cracks are only you know, I would say 60 feet from the water. But look at that. These things are huge, they're massive. All right guys, so without further ado, we're just gonna get into start filming some of these cracks and measuring them. I have a stick here. This stick is probably about two and a half to two, I'd say about two and a half feet or so long. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start measuring them. And uh, also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as well in the video. If you found this informative, I plan on doing more videos like this just to document what's going on here in Texas. Again, it's uh, pretty significant and it's probably some history, I'm sure, down the road. 30 years from now, we'll look down at this and be like, wow, that was a dry year. Also, there will be links down below for any anybody interested in, in uh, any courses that I do teach. You can check them down below. They usually involve fitness, DIY projects, or investing. So definitely check that out. Without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, guys. So just for um, for reference, we're gonna measure. You know what? It, what does it look like compared to my foot? So this is how deep it is. If the stick, this is how how long the stick is. Now we're just gonna drop it in the hole here. So just like that, I mean, pushed it forward. Um, that's already up to here to me. That's crazy. I've never seen it like this ever. Oh shit. So I can still wiggle this thing in here. Holy crap. Okay, I can't even get my hand in there anymore, but. So that's the crack here. I'm trying to show you guys. I'm holding the stick and pushing it all the way in there. So this is about, I mean, this is how far we are in that, in that crack. We're definitely past way, waist deep in this crack. Insane. I've always seen cracks here in Texas when it gets dry, but I've never seen them this wide and uh, this deep. They've never been like this. And the crack goes all the way down. So the crack is, starts from here and ends about right in here. At least the, the major crack itself, which is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven about seven and a half to eight feet long and you could definitely you could definitely spring an ink spring an ankle in here so it's definitely a foot wide um my foot wide not actually a foot wide um so yeah well just for reference here that's how wide the crack is 
I've always seen them, you know, usually about an inch or so. This is a lot more than an inch, that's for sure. So that's crazy. Um, you're looking at at least, you know, four feet deep at least. And I didn't even reach the bottom either. I didn't reach the bottom with this or my arm. So there's no telling how deep it actually is. Um, but we, we did go down about four feet at least um, on the crack itself. All right, guys, so now we're just going to go around the property and start filming some of these cracks. Um, I would actually like to drop a camera down in that hole and see, you know, what's down there. Because this is insane. I'm, I'm guessing you could probably get it down to at least five feet. Because I'm thinking I did at least four feet, maybe even four and a half feet. And I could still feel it was loose underneath the stick. So it definitely had some more room to go. Now I'm going to show you my road and it's actually started cracking as well. All right guys, so I'm going to I will be keeping an eye on this crack. Um so definitely if you want to stay updated and see if this thing does grow, um does get deeper or does get wider, um definitely subscribe to the channel. If it does if I do see a significant, you know, increase in the depth of that of that crack or of um the width of the crack, I'll definitely put it on the on the channel for sure cuz um like I said, that's pretty fascinating, pretty interesting. It's never been like that, so it's, uh, you know, something to document. Okay, so here's my, my gravel road here. And I'm assuming that the ground is cracking underneath the base road. That's what's causing this to separate as well. Um, I haven't measured this one. Um, it looks kind of narrower. It's not too, too wide. Um, but it does look like it is fairly deep. I can see, you know, it goes down a little ways. And we have about a foot of material underneath um, right now. So it's at least a foot deep. I know that because it cracked. And it has to have cracked from underneath the base um, from the dirt. All right, so here's some more cracks. These are the, more of the typical cracks you'll see here in Texas when you do have a dry year. As you can tell, they're nothing like the other cracks. Um, this one is, you know, probably, like I said, probably about an inch wide. Not that, not that wide at all. Um, guys, don't, if you aren't watching from outside of the outside of Texas or um, outside of the United States, drop it down below in the comments. Um, are you seeing anything similar to this in your region or in your area? If you are. Um, measure those cracks for us guys where I'm sure I'm not the only one who's interested to see you know what is going on in other parts of the country or other parts of the world um, so if you can definitely measure those cracks if you have cracks in your region and see how deep those things go I'm actually really really curious I think in my next video I'm going to try to get an accurate measurement of some of these cracks especially as, as they continue to grow uh, I think I'm going to get like maybe a rope with the weight or do something um, to drop it down in that crack to get an, an actual measurement of how deep that thing goes. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. I, that's something I'm thinking about doing. See if it, I'll practice it first. Make See if it even works. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, like I said, just to kind of document what's going on here in Texas. Um, this is... You know, I haven't seen anything like this. I've always seen cracks in the ground, but I've never seen them this wide or that deep. Um, so that's the reason it caught my attention. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, but like always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on this video. And to stay updated uh, with current events going on here in Texas as far as the drought. Like always, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.